Alright, today I'm going to be teaching you how to moonwalk. If you enjoyed this video, it would mean a lot if you joined my Discord server. But without further ado, let's get into it. Moonwalking, yeah! Woo. Alright, so I'm over here in Hypixel Practice, and one of the first things you want to do before you start moonwalking is getting a crosshair, like custom crosshair. It's a lot easier with this arrow, so if you're on Badline or Luna or any client really, uh, make sure you enable the arrow crosshair. If you're just playing on regular Minecraft or like Forge or something, you can always get some resource packs that uh, have a custom crosshair. But anyways, let's get into the moonwalking. So if you bridge or uh, facing this way, then this is what I'm gonna call like option A. However, if you're someone that bridges like this, make sure to listen into like part B of this video. Alright, so part A is for all the people that are gonna be moonwalking like this. So what you wanna do, just come to the edge of the block, face backwards, um, tilt your crosshair like 45 degrees. So now when you're holding D and S, you should go up. But as soon as you press A, you should uh, glide back down like this. Yeah, so it should look something like this. If you look at my um, keystrokes in the bottom corner, you can see my uh, what I'm pressing. So I press hold S and D, I go upwards. Uh, hold A, I go down. Now, as soon as you place the first block like that, you're gonna uncrouch. So you just do that, and then for every block after that, you're just gonna hold S for like tap S after you place a block. This will just like slow you down and it will look something like this. Just, I mean, a lot faster. <laughs> yeah, so basically this is what it looks like. And it's really just timing, so after you get the timing down you should be able to just... <laughs> uh, like moonwalk in third person and stuff like that. I haven't practiced, like I haven't warmed up or anything. So yeah, I can't really do it at the moment, <laughs> but... I mean... Yeah, you probably get the hang of it. <laughs> Now time for option B, the people who are people that bridge like this, you know. So what you guys want to do is come over to the edge of the block, but this time you want to tilt your crosshair uh, this way, like negative 45, I don't know, I don't care. But yeah, so when you're holding A and S, you should glide up like this, but as soon as you press D, you should fall down like this. So if you look in the bottom right, you can see my keystrokes, and I'm going up and down, and I'm holding all three of the bottom uh, sort of things. But when I'm holding the holding A and S, I'm going up. And like we did for the right side, as soon as you place the first block, you want to uncrouch. Yeah, so I don't even bridge on that side. Like, I'm just, what? So it should look something like this, where you're holding A and S, and then as soon as you place a block, you tap D. It will look like this just faster, you know? Yeah, I can't do this side. Alright, now this is the second method of moonwalking. I don't know, you just hold different keys. So in this one, you're only holding uh, one key the whole time. And then you're just tapping A, you know? So to do this, you just want to come to the edge of the block. Uh, make sure you're falling down like this. Well, angle your crosshair, so, you know, you just do this when you're holding S. And then as soon as you place a block, you just want to hold A. Now you have to get like the angling of the crosshair right, for this one that's the most important part, but yeah. Now for the people that do this on the right side, you just have to do the exact same thing, except just tap uh, D and have your cross, uh, crosshair thing just in the opposite direction. So what I recommend is just, you need very small angles, so you're traveling down really slowly. And if you start to fall off the side like that, uh, just, you just want to hold D for longer, so 
basically this will happen where here let me try getting an example I'm near the edge and then you just want to start holding yeah so that's just pretty much how I moonwalk there's two methods this is the first one a s and d and this is the second one just yeah and then you flip the do it on the other side you know I can't do this side <laughs> But still, you know, it's just, it's just, uh, practice. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and moonwalk for literally just an hour straight. And these are my best moonwalks from that time period. So, uh, yeah, let's hop into it. So basically, just before we get into that footage, um, basically I'm just gonna slow this down and enlarge in my, my, uh, bottom right keystrokes so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing when I'm moonwalking. Yeah, so I hope that um, helped you with the timing, you know, if you didn't get the timing down. But yeah, that's just very, pretty much it. Anyways, let's get into the one hour session. Waste of life. Yeah. Also, please don't be like demotivated when you can't do it on the first try. Like, it took me at least 10 minutes just to get three blocks. And when I first started moonwalking, I would be super accomplished at like just five blocks. And most of the time I can do that super consistently now. And I can even just bridge to the other also, side. If you're trying to bridge long distances, I recommend just adding in crouches uh, just randomly throughout your moonwalk whenever you feel like you're gonna fall off yeah just like that i was like four blocks away all right that's pretty much it so um i hope you have a good rest of your day or night i, I don't know oh, well. Stay with me.